Duke's Narrow Escape Duke is known by sight to most of the children of the United States. He's the last horse Colonel Cody rode in battle. Last fall in that railroad slaughter of equines in North Carolina, Duke was birthed about the middle of the second car from the engine. Dad, his mate, stood beside him and was so mangled that he had to be shot. Every other horse in the car was killed, and in the darkness and attendant excitement, the entire Congress of Rough Riders and Major Burke Down supposed that Duke had gone to the happy hunting grounds of the blue grass in company of the herd. When daylight came, he was seen in a nearby field eating. No bones were broken, but the horse suffered all winter from the shock, and for months has been in the hands of the most expert massages to be found in the United States. The horses of the Wild West winter in Coatesville, Pennsylvania, and Duke was to be taken there at once. But he could not bear the sight of a railroad car. If led near one, he would break out in cold sweat, shivering and quaking with dread. They housed him in the station, feeding him there for weeks, and one night pushed a car on a siding, built an enclosed passageway from its door to that of the station, and persuaded him to walk on board. It is believed that he did not suspect the trick. At Coatesville, he broke away from his attendants and disappeared over the hills, to be found an hour later at the farm, standing at the door of his own stall. He now seems to be as good as new, and will tour England and the continent with the Wild West.